Hello YouTube users, this is GamerX459 here. Having trouble trying to get this game to work? It's stuttering a lot? Well, fortunately, I may have found a solution for you. So here is the battle.net client. I can't really help with the Steam version, because I don't know, don't use it. But for those who are on the battle.net version, I may be able to help you out here. So, show an explorer. Some things which I did, which helped for me, which may also help for you. Go into the retail folder. Go into properties. And in the compatibility section, you want to hit disable full screen optimizations. And then in the high DPI settings, you want to check this and then override the high DPI scaling behavior and let the application itself perform it. Now that, unfortunately on its own, did not fix the game not launching for me. What did fix it, however, and I you know, I'm just explaining the things that I did that got it to work. What I did was, here is regular Modern Warfare. I went into the settings. And I have the old version of Warzone installed right here. So... I went into the update manager and I did, it was initially scan and repair, but I did a scan and repair right here. So it's going to fail to update. But what I did was a scan and repair on the modern warfare launcher.exe. And this is where my war zone was originally installed. After I did that, I did the same thing when I moved it over to right here. Oh, wait, that's not it. Rip. Hold on. This PC, Windows 86. Here they are. And then I did the same thing. I took the Modern Warfare install. And I tried to get this to associate with that. And for whatever reason, when doing a scan and repair on the Call of Duty Modern Warfare, that caused this game to launch. I don't know what it could possibly be. It could be a conflict on an install. But if you have the original Modern Warfare for Call of Duty, or if you have... Uh, Warzone 1.0, prior to switching to 2.0, you know, do some checks, do some scan and repairs, even with the original Modern Warfare, because it seems like there might be a conflict, and that's why people are having major lag and stutter issues. Because I was lagging and stuttering a lot until I changed some settings on my PC. And now it's not, it's fine. And not only that, because the game was not launching, I had to do some stuff. I figured it was a conflict between the two. And given the fact that after doing a scan and repair on this, this started working, I think that's a hint as to what is going on as to why people are not able to launch the game, as to why they might be having lag or stuttering issues. So go into your settings, let the application take control of the high DPI settings. And if you have the original Modern Warfare or the original COD Warzone, Make sure you do a scan and repair 
by getting the modern warfare installation to be detected because in the original war zone obviously there was the original modern warfare launcher so there might be some conflicts between this one and go into, you know, Modern Warfare 2. Another option, of course, is to just completely wipe it, uninstall the original Modern Warfare, and that may fix your issues in Modern Warfare 2. But I think it's a conflict between the two games. Not sure what it is, but... Those are the things, those are the steps I took to not only fix... The stuttering and lag, but also the constant uh, inability to launch the game. Because it was not launching whatsoever. I'll say that much. But uh, those are the things I did to fix it. And hopefully this will help you out. So uh, if it did, feel free to like and uh, subscribe. And I'll probably be uploading some uh, Warzone 2.0 videos whenever I feel like it. So uh, feel free to keep watch for that. In that knowledge, GamerX459, peace out.